When you finished your work, you need to archive it. There are many ways in which to do this, but the main one would be through the File menu located up here. And you can go File, Save As, and that allows you to provide some key pieces of information. First of all, a file name. I'm just going to call this Red Ball and also put my name in there. I'll put that at the beginning, last name, first name, Red Ball. Now you'll notice all of these separate words are separated with capitals. This is called the CAMEL uh, file formatting or file naming convention. And there's another way that you could name your files as well. I could do all lowercase underscore, so that's shift dash underscore red underscore ball. Um, so that's lowercase uh, underscore. There are specific criteria for file naming that you should follow. First of all, be consistent. Um, a good file name should indicate some aspect of ownership and content. Who created the file and what's in it. So you can see I'm following a standard here of last name, first name, and then followed by content. We don't want any spaces or any weird special characters in our file names. And so that's why I use either the camel format or the lowercase underscore format. The next piece of information that it wants is where the file is to be saved. And so this is called a finder window for obvious reasons. It allows you to locate files or to determine where in your directory structure or filing cabinet your files are going to be stored. Now I'm just going to store mine right out on my desktop. The other thing it wants to know is a third piece of information the format of the file. And we're just going to use what we call a native format, meaning it's created in Adobe Illustrator, so we're going to save it as an Adobe Illustrator file. And that's important that you always save a native version of your files because that allows you the opportunity to go back and make changes. So if we were to save it in some other format, we may not be able to retain some of the special features that are unique to the, we'll call it the mother program, in this case, Illustrator. So we're going to use Illustrator as our format. There often is a fourth piece of information, particularly if you were working in Photoshop, and that would be compression. Um, you know, when you're saving files that contain a lot of data, there are often methods of compressing that data. Uh, for uh, instance, JPEG files, which are image files, allow you to compress that file to varied degrees. So we don't have to worry about that here. We're just now going to click that Save button. It asks you some information about what version of Illustrator. So if we were passing this off to somebody else, with an older version, we might be able to save it in some kind of legacy format, as you can see here. And there are a couple of other things here. One that's important to me is creating PDF compatible files, because I often work with uh, PDF for document exchange. That means portable document format. Um, I just want to click OK now, and it saves the file. Now. When you come back to work on a file and you make changes, let's say in this case, I'm going to recolor that and make it green. If I simply go to the file menu and choose save, it updates the existing file with the new information. I really think that developers should have called this update rather than save. At any rate, if I want to keep both versions of that file, I should use the Save As function. So keep that in mind. Save is simply Update, in which case the version with the red ball in there will be completely written over. Or Save As allows us to give it a new name, and we'll change it to Green Ball. Save it in the same location. 
and there you have it. So we can have, if we go to File, Open Recent, we can also open up that red ball. So now you'll notice the two tabs here. We have access to the original and to the newer version that we saved using a new file name.